Привет, товаришки. It is time. Hello. Let's play uh, some videos game. If you want. If that's something that you want to do. Uh, we're going to play Workers of Resource Soviet Republic as soon as Steam stops crashing. Because for some reason it's crashing. Hi, everyone. Let's, uh, fuck it. Let's just keep playing the music because the music kicks us. Can we see this new olive tree? Yes, you can. Actually, hold on. Here, this is Olivia, my new olive tree, uh, and uh, uh, she's visible, barely, but she's visible. She can be there. I'll move her out to her proper situation uh, after the stream. She's an olive tree and she prefers full bright sunlight and I have a window over there and like a bit of a separate room thing where it's a south facing window and she likes that. Over here, it's not that great, not that direct sunlight, however, it's fine. Steam being counter-revolutionary. Olivia, Olivia. Love how wild you are for plants. I fucking love plants. Plants are the good shit. Plants is what Plants is where we're at. That's the good stuff. <laughs> if not for plants, we wouldn't be here. Workers and resources. Soviet Republic. Okay. I'm just gonna pause the music. And then... Let's see if we can make this work. Because <laughs> I tap out from it anyway. The famous Scandinavian olive growing climate. Yeah, it's not great here for for olive trees in general. And then let's do like so. Let me know how the volume is. If you can hear me properly, if the music's not too loud, stuff like that. Uh, I've, I've been playing around like a little bit, uh, but nothing like severely. We are going to go back to our Republic that we started two days ago. And I realized a few things. I realized a, two, a few things after we finished up streaming. Because I've been, I've been playing around with it a little bit more just to see what the game can do and what I've been missing. Uh, I realized we made like the most inefficient oil field maybe in the world. Um, and that's saying something, uh, which is convincing me I actually grew Ollie from a tree. Me and just with plants crave. I like to think so. Is uh, working series is better than Sir Skylands? New. No. Well, okay. That really depends on like what your definition of better is. Uh, is it better? Is it better for uh, people who like in like proper industry? People who like realism. Yes, it's way better. Uh, because in terms of realism, you know, you have to grow crops that you have to process into food. Uh, crops can also be used in chemical plants. You need ore, you need to process ore, you can convert that coal into things, and you can use the coal to make steel, or shit like that. And it's good, it's good shit. However, and like everything has a resource, including like every individual street has a resource, it doesn't just cost money. Uh, however, I don't think it's very realistic that just people People just go to whatever bus stop is nearest to them and just go to whatever workplace that they are assigned to. Oh, I got a new vehicle type. Um, that doesn't feel very realistic. Um, but alas. Uh, but anyway, we left off 
My, okay, I should explain. I should uh, further develop my, my theory. Uh, I think that this game combined with like the, the city building aspect of of City Skylines is maybe the perfect game. Like the industry bits and the resource mechanics of this game combined with like the city planning aspect of, uh, of City Skylines is maybe like the ideal game. Uh, I'm definitely not learning, like slowly learning how to do, call is being reduced, slowly learning how to do um, Unity programming so I can learn. Anyway, I realized something. Our oil field from Murmursk, like we pump it up, we pump it all up, we put it in this oil storage, and then we take it by train all the way over here. We turn up here, all the way to the corner of the map. While we could just take it over here. Like, look at this. It's even flatter. It's not even, it's not even close. Like, it's so much, it's so much closer, I mean. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. We have some money saved up. Um, and what we could do, if we really, really wanted to, is we could just have a pipeline running the entire way here, and then just have like a train to just do the handoff between like an oil station and the thing. Uh, but we're not gonna do that. We're because that's gonna cost even more money, um, and it will require infrastructure that we don't really have. However, thanks to uh, glorious new science. Uh, we can just hook up like a new trail line, a new train line to this thing and we'll be fine Like we can just do something like So And then we will just add in this as a stop Instead of the other one And we can just remove this stop Now we'll sell everything over there instead uh, Reducing inefficiencies Making things a lot simpler to deal with. Inefficient oil practice. <laughs> it's true. Blend in the Soviet bureaucracy. Soviet study is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Mia Mulder. Mia Mulder. Uh, so what happens? What what will what this will do is you know probably nothing really. Like this train will head up there, still stacked with oil. Uh, but what will happen is this will have a less chance of overflowing. Uh, because we will spend more time selling uh, and less time refueling. However, <laughs> we have a money problem. We have a pretty severe money problem, actually. Uh, and we're gonna deal with it. And we're gonna deal with it by exporting more oil. We are going to do the American way and just have many more oil fields because with 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 less transport like this is going to be a heavy investment and that kind of sucks right however it'll all be worth it so first we have to link all of that up I'm sorry I'm getting right like right into the game, but like we have no time to lose. The five year plan must be completed in time. Uh let's have a switch like so I think it'd work. And you'll just do something like that. You'll connect there and you can keep going down here. And now we do the pipeline. I I got like I I barely spent any time like even introducing the game. Uh, if you don't know about this game, this is uh, Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. It's a um, it's a it's a it's a city builder kind of. I mean it is, but it's more like a planned economy Soviet Republic simulator, as the name suggests, um, and it kicks ass. Like I don't know what to say. Like it, it kicks ass. It's a, great, it's a great game. And I like it. It's janky as fuck, but like once you get into it, it's not actually that bad. 
Uh, you can just turn back into like something like that. You do that. You do something like that, maybe? No? Why aren't they building? Oh, because I ran out of money. Uh, that's fine. We'll just uh, borrow. We'll just borrow even more money. It's fine because we're gonna make so much money from this. No, are you all being operated? Operating, yes, operating. As you can see, our oil uh, resource is being filled up even quicker than before because we have, like doubled our oil output. Our oil field is great. We can even expand this even further in the future. Uh, set up another train line from Mormorsk. We can refine this fuel into fuel, which will be even better. Okay. Uh, that's all I really wanted to do right now. Like, this is infinitely more efficient. So now, I can, I'm just gonna put the up, like, oh, well, well, something like that. And then I can look at chat. <laughs> have you tried Factorio? I, no. Uh, and the reason I don't think I don't like, I, I don't, it doesn't have, have some, it hasn't, uh, like, really um, appealed to me. And I think the reason that it hasn't appealed to me is because it... Um, it just feels like it's not gonna be up my alley. Like, at all. Uh, the reason I like this game, I think, from an industrial perspective, is because, like, it, it has a purpose. Like, the, the purpose is, like, building a city. The purpose is, like, having a republic. And I, I, I really like that. Especially the republic part. City builders are great, but, like, nation builders? Like, micro-nation builders? Oh, that's, that's, my, that's, my, that's, my, that's my shit. If I ever get around learning Unity, that's what I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make, like, a nation simulator. Five-year plan will be completed completed in four years, as El Presidente would say. Exactly. With regards to money, the USAR have fiat currency. Oh, ooh, that's a good question. I don't know enough about stonks and money to do that. Um, to say to say that, because um, I don't know. Like, I think so. Like, I'm fairly sure so. I, I, I'm almost certainly sure that they did, but I'm not. I, I couldn't tell you for sure. Yankee yeah, games that you could use are the best games. Yeah, games like this in Kenshi that look, because like I don't want to be mean to this game, but it looks a bit like trash, right? It doesn't. It doesn't have the highest graphical fidelity in the world, but that's because they put in like. That's because they put the effort in like features instead. Like they don't they don't care about like other things. We're producing so much fucking lumber industry. We have too much. Um, how is our industry? Everyone's happy. We are losing a bit of population, but that's because like people had like this massive ass demographic. Hang on, like last year you can just see how we had a huge bump in babies, uh, which is. That curve is flattening, and now we're just flattening the the children curve, slowly but surely. Um, what we are going to try to do is we are going to try, try, try being the operative word. We are going to try to set up a basic construction office to build roads. And that's it. We're also going to have a um, maybe set up a different city. Average age is a little higher. Yeah. Factoria doesn't scratch the same itch. Yeah. Murmursk, <laughs> Farmursk. Uh, was there a recent update? There has been a recent update. It's called, I think it's called like the nuclear update or something. Uh, it's very good. Uh, it's currently on test branch, so if you have the main game, it's not out yet. But if you like, if you go to beta and go into test, you will have like these. Like you can build a cooling tower or a twin twin nuclear reactor plant. Which uh, requires like a lot of um, stuff for that to operate. How is our pollution going? I'm concerned about that factory being so close close to the thing. Uh, nothing important is being affected. Just a school. It's great. <laughs> Fuck them kids. Um, we are producing electricity. Yeah. So. The, this this is working. We'll we'll hook up. We'll I think we're gonna make like another village somewhere, and maybe all they will do is 
make food for export, something like that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what we'll do. Uh, that's because of... What, what did we spend money on this time? Steel. What did we, what did we build? I forgot. All oh, right, the oil. <laughs> Listen, uh, it's been a long day. It's been a long day. Uh, but now we have the the people's oil field working good time. Like we're we're filling up a lot. This is like half of the range. I think we're gonna make like a, a lot of money from this oil, uh, which we can eventually expand. Uh, I want to start paying off some loans too. This building is on fire. Don't like that. Oil rig 13. No. <laughs> Fuck. We don't have roads over here. This is just doomed. Yeet. Uh, that's 6,000 rubles per thing, though. I don't like that. That's not great. It's fine, though. It's still worth it. Okay. It's fine. Fires happen. Hydrate? I'm drinking water today. Just standard water. They didn't have to sell research from foreign countries to get their currency to use it for imports. No feel, only a lot of currency. I don't know enough about currencies. Bitcoin, Bitcoin bad, that's all I know. Uh, isn't Anno similar? Anno is similar in like, we, we're making a passive po profit. From what? Is it power? Are we producing so much power? Yeah. We're making a passive income now. Uh, that's probably because we're we're finally getting enough workers because our population is like aging into being productive workers. You can see how the, the graph is like slowly getting up. Um, which is great news because finally we're like actually filling some workplaces around this place. Like fact, oh my god, what is ha what is happening here? Uh, okay, that's bad. Uh, okay, you go to depot. Let's fix this somehow. Because I think that th that one is holding up the line by doing exports. No workers to the factory. Can we maybe get. I wonder if the paths will work now because they kind of broke. I wonder if they will work now. I don't think so. A lot of people in this factory, though. Do you have a truck over here? No. Where's the truck? Heading to depot. Why didn't that work? Uh, okay, actually, because we have two different things now for, like... Um, let's just do like this. So, this truck that we just sent away, which, where'd it go? Where'd the truck go? Oh, you took up the worst detour? Okay. Um, let's just add in this one instead. So you'll unload clothing. Wait until... no? Uh, that one will go to the depot anyway, that's fine. So, but you will go there. Distribution office. Yeah. Can the distribution office take from factories and give to warehouses because right now this is not connected can we maybe make it connected we i think we can will this work automatically or will we need a thing i think we need a thing yeah we need a thing uh what we need here is a forklift garage but that that also means that we won't have to do something. Hang on. Um, so, if there's not a direct connection like there is over here and here, like if they have to do a little thing over here, they need um, they need forklifts. Uh, fuel. Yeah, you can buy fuel. 
I don't need... Assign some tasks. Find! So now these forklifts will carry stuff from here to there, so we don't need to have a truck to do that for them, which is great, because then the only trucks that will use this parking lot are things that will distribute or export, because then we can use this, this truck to export things from here to the Soviet Union. So this is like a food storage now, and this will just be a clothing storage. Are they working? We are producing food. That's a lot of workers and not that much food, actually. I'm surprised. We are harvesting now. That's good. Okay, chat. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello! Welcome to the stream. This game looks like a lot of fun. I think it's, like, really fun. Uh, we're spending a lot of money, but that's fine. We are making more money than we are spending. Uh, even though we are losing money to our... To our loans, although we have we have paid off more than half of that like initial big loan, and these two loans are gonna be a bit harder to pay off. But like our oil industry is uh, up and running, we're not importing as much uh, stuff. We're importing meat. I think that's the one big thing. Da -da, da -da -da -da. So if we do like this, so we just see what we import today. Like fabric is the biggest one because we we were making our own clothes uh but that's fine so now yeah you're just an export an export truck and you're also gonna be an export truck so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete those stops. I'm gonna put that there and just send to the custom house. Uh, but let's just have this like 30%, like 50% actually. Because we, we don't actually produce that much clothing. Um, so I don't want, I don't want, I don't just want to export all the clothing that we have. I like, I want to actually Take advantage of it. But although the good thing is like anytime the shopping center is like Yeah, the shopping center is full of clothes and food. Meat is like the big thing. So that's uh, maybe we should set up a meat industry. But that that could be fun. Trunks. So we made a video fire is bombing the burning building. <laughs> it's like an ant come on. Oh my god, the chat is so active. I I, I keep I have a hard time keeping up. It's a good problem that we have. Six thousand rubles, that's almost fifteen dollars. <laughs> it's close to city scout, it's very close. An old peasant boom is it? It says I want a camel for the first time. <laughs> Look what the Bolsheviks have done to that horse! Trunks. The concrete footpaths. I'll have to make a walkable city. Yeah! Apparently, the Soviet ruble might have been treated like a token inside the Soviet with a separate type of currency for trading outside Comic Con. Oh, huh, that's interesting. Am I a bad communist because I don't like brutalism? No, like, a lot of people don't like brutalism. The mistake that a lot of, like, countries that did a lot of brutalism did was they used too much of it. Uh, if they had just, for example, if they had just done Neoclassican, for example, if they had done every single fucking building Neoclassican, then people would fucking hate Neoclassican because people don't like the same thing. People like variety. Uh, yeah. Do your workers rebel if you abuse them? I don't know. I don't think so. I think they I think they become like unruly, but I don't know what that means. Speaking of which, maybe we can do some equipment for our citizens. Like uh like maybe we should have a radio station? Or a TV station? Oh television stations. No one no one has a fucking TV. <laughs> maybe we can like expand the seal a little bit. I think that could be fun. Let's make We'll road here. Like up so, maybe? Yeah. Yes. Because now we have like an income source, which uh, 
you know, most of our income comes from power and oil and clothes. We're making a lot of money from clothes, actually. Um, clothes are good money. Are we making enough money though to offset the cost of fabrics? Fabrics, 3,000. Three and we're six. Yes, we are. So we're consuming ourselves even. We're producing too much oil. Look at that. This is a good problem to have. Where is our oil train? Uh, where's the oil train? There it is. We might have to expand this a little bit. Does that make sense? So we can have two trains running, taking oil. No, okay, you're not producing too much. You're almost producing too much, but you're, you're actually fine. That's fine. Because then this will just... Mm, delicious oil. Delicious. Tasty. Uh, we should be wary of spending too much money until we can pay back some loans. But we should ex at least try to expand. Maybe we should expand the oil industry even more, actually. Because it's, I mean, it's a good money maker. This is a good old field. Let's just hook that up. It's gonna be so inefficient, but it'll, it'll produce like an infinite amount of, of oil. Um, let's reclaim some land. It's gonna cost so much money. It's gonna cost so much money. It's fine. It's got good oil deposits. Oh, let's do something like that. that. That'll work. And then we can cancel that. And just hook it up like so. We didn't even hook that up. This is something like that, and we can just unhook that, hook that up like so. And now we should have a lot more oil being produced. Oh, look at that, it's so much better. They're all working, they're all running, yes. Glorious. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, this is our main export, so it's good that we protect it. Um, I'm considering doing something that will be a lot more profitable in the long term. What if we set up like somewhere around here or somewhere close to the coal industry, uh, a fuel refining plant? What do we think about that? Get a refinery. Even Soviet science denies psychology and unconscious thought. Listen, a lot of funky Soviet science happened. They did a lot of stuff. I think a lot of people in the UK just like brutalism because it's associated with social housing. Oh, for sure. Like, very much the same thing in Sweden. Uh, I mean, the benefit of, so of uh, brutalism is that it's cheap. It's very easy to build in like big things. So when Sweden had something called the Million Project, which was called, which was called as such to build a million houses. <sighs> oh, refinery. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do with, with the bitumen, but I mean, like, we got, it, we got it. What if, we, what if, what if we do that? Is that, a, is that a bad idea? Is it a good idea to spend a lot of money on a refi refinery at this point? I think it might be a great idea, actually. With a loader. Loader. Can it unload from here, do you think? Th this is the negative of having a mod, because it's just this loader. Does that mean it can load? Or, like, does it... What does it do? Loading, unloading. Oil fuel. Loading and unloading. Okay, so it's a, it's a pipe. So it doesn't matter. Cool. Actually, fuck it. Let's just do it. Let's just have like an oil refinery, <laughs> just fairly close to town, close to the farms. That's probably fine. It's probably fine, right? 
that's probably fine. Uh, but what are we, okay, what we're actually gonna do first is we're gonna build up two small construction offices. And the, the reason for this will become apparent, because we need to save money. Uh, so I'm gonna get that. Just a bunch of uh, Stalin Ek S100 bulldozers. Don't know why they're called Stalin. Probably because they were named after the guy. They named a lot of stuff after that guy. Uh, and now, we, we're using them to flatten our land. So no, no longer do we have to use um, expensive money to do that. We can just use ourselves. Bitumen is used for world building. Yeah. But like, where do I store bitumen? I don't, I'm not gonna build an asphalt plant yet. Like, I think that's, I think that's gonna take a while. Look at that, and it's free. And all those, all, they're just vibing so quickly. Oh my god, look at that. Okay. Storage. How much is that gonna cost me? Probably quite a lot, right? Like, it doesn't say how much it is, because it's gonna be like a lot. We should probably flat around here using that using this as level. Cause my idea is that I'll use two rails, one coming in from here from the oil, like I'll take it all in I'll take an oil and then we have another train, like a new train, to take out fuel to here. And we'll earn a lot more money that way. We'll also save money doing it, because we can just Need a free bulldozer? What happened to my bulldozers? Working for the construction office. Automatic. What? Oh, they all have to refuel themselves! Because I use them! Of course, they take fuel. Oh my god. Okay, well, of course I'm a dumbass. They're dozing. <laughs> That's a good question. Why isn't this called, uh, like, a Russian name? Uh, we should make... Mood the shipping. Factory man made a strong... In the first year we made 500 units, the second 5,000, the third 500,000. Wow, says one American visitor. What do you manufacture here? The manager hands him one of the plates and the American visitor threw it out of order. <laughs> Jokes about the Soviet Union are like so prolific. Like it's a very common, like, jokey trope. Okay, you're refueled now? You're feeling better? Cool. What if I do that? Is that a bad idea? Oh, right, I need to auto build using rubles from now on. Hundred thousand, that's like a third of my thing. Ugh. I want a book of them. They're very good. Ugh. It's gonna be so much money. Let's hold off on that, like for now. At least until we pay off the, this final loan, which is gonna be like done in a few weeks anyway. Because uh, we're selling oil, and the oil is profitable and on its own. But I think that's maybe one of the first things that we ex expand into. Because we're getting more workers. We still have no one unemployed at all, holy shit. Everyone has a job. 100% employment in my glorious republic. Uh, how's that looking for... Oh my god, look, see? Now the power plants are way more effective than they used to be. Maybe... How, have we ever imported power? We have a little bit. We're still importing power. No, wait. Almost nothing. Last month. A little bit. This year entirely. 
Okay, we're importing a little bit of power. But that's just good for power balance, I think. Yeah, because no workers here now. So, yeah, I think it's good that, we, that we're importing like a little bit of power. We don't have to be entirely self-sufficient when it comes to power. What happened with the military scheme? Yeah, good question. Thank you for reminding me. So, uh, when they built the million homes, uh, they uh, they built a million apartments, like a, a million decent apartment complex for like the 50s, uh, using like very tenement-like structures, which works great in theory. Uh, the problem is that, like because you build them, you build them all in like things, and then you end up with. Um, you basically end up with like s suburbs uh, where these houses start uh, not getting the proper maintenance that they deserve, uh, and um, and because because these houses were built to be affordable, they are also some of the cheapest places. So when people start earning money, they move out of those places, and uh, um, the people who move into those places are usually like. Uh, the people who don't really have any money, like students or refugees and stuff like that. Uh, and now these areas are like being uh, being used, be, are like being very much targeted by like right wing people being like, oh, look at these these million project people living in these living in the squats being. So be and because of their racism and because of their like class phobia. Class phobia, like class detestment, I guess, of, of poor people. They also hate the idea of like affordable housing because they just hate the idea of like houses like these, uh, because because they think that bad people live in them, because the areas where they exist are full of crime, because they're underfunded with social services and don't get the support that they need from the from the government. Uh, and the reason they don't get that support is because they don't like the poor. So it's a bad cycle of things. Anyway, bit of a rant. The Maldrovian SSR. Here, it certainly is, I think. We have clothes. This thing is... Yeah, they're all they're all pretty full of food. So we're not... Are we buying... Are we buying food at all? Or clothes? Last month. No, we're not buying any of that. I wish I could sort this. Fabric, yeah, like 2,000 rubles worth of meat isn't that much money to worth to invest in. Uh, okay, look at that. Like we're making, we're making so much money, like. We're making so much money. <laughs> That's what socialism is. Didn't you know? Uh, okay, we have a bunch of professors and almost no students. So let's do some engineer uh, semiconductors. Let's research some semiconductors. Why not? Uh, so what we're what we're gonna do with this? Like, I got this for bulldozers, so I can flatten ground for free. But what I'm gonna do with this this construction office is I'm gonna get like all sorts of all sorts of vehicles, like uh, these, uh, like a paver, some rollers, some tower cranes, maybe a cement concrete mixer, an ex excavator, a road crane, uh, and these things will eventually go out and build the things that we need. But what we are going to use it for is we are going to use it to build gravel roads, because that's what our next village is going to be like. Uh, and we are going to build it using. We're going to set up a, like a little gra gravel. Um, a gravel infrastructure, uh, and we're gonna take that gravel and we're gonna make it into into gravel, <laughs> uh, and then we can use that gravel to build gravel roads for free. Is the idea anyway? Uh, so we're going to try to make like an experiment village. Is my idea? Well, like we're gonna try to make a very basic small village, um, and the people in that village are, you know, they're gonna have all their supplies met, they're gonna have everything that they need. Uh, maybe we'll put into work like a small farm or something, maybe that could work, maybe, yeah, we could just have fields. Uh, 
Yeah, because people from this bus stop keeps going to this field to harvest. Like, we don't need me mechanisms to actually harvest anything. Because um, people will do that for them. I think we need trucks to, like, carry the seed from the thing to the thing, but we don't have need to have a harvester. Uh, the only reason I want to experiment like this is because I just want to see if I can do it. Because I've never done this before. Meeting Mulder God. Is that the neighborhood Tim Pool went to for his terrible video? Probably. Pintool, uh, Pintool went to Sweden to walk around like our dangerous neighborhoods and he had to like actively go looking for bad neighborhoods and like couldn't really find any either. Like I remember him walking around like areas that I know that I've been being like I feel so unsafe holding out his ass camera and being and people looking at him. And I remember him talking about him feeling unsafe because people were looking at him. Which is what's gonna happen when you have a camera out. Like do you, have you never filmed in public? Like people are gonna look at you. Let's connect these up a little bit more. This is like the worst. So many preschools. The reason we have so many preschools is because we have the baby boom. Uh, benefit is that th this area is never gonna run out, run out of preschools or kindergartens. Mm, they're not getting any workers because there's no workers here. Where is everyone going? Everyone's going to school. Okay, we need schools. Which makes sense, I guess. Like people, people graduated, I guess. Do people graduate from kindergarten? <laughs> I'm a normal human being, I ask these questions. <laughs> Excuse me. And now people are swarming into there. As makes sense. I assume people are gonna swarm into there the second a teacher shows up. No, no teachers? There we go. Some teachers. And now the students. Yes. Yes. Hundreds of them. Well, we need to make sure that they have that they have an education. How is it our education levels actually? They're going up. Our basic education is is going up, which is good. Uh, I'm a bit concerned about our university education, but they, that's people who need an education, I guess. Research and semiconductor stuff. That's good. Can we pay off a loan? No, we can't. Not anymore. We still need to make more money to do that. Can I expand this even more? I want to make this like the mo oh. oh, oh, oh. You didn't even touch the power supply, did ya? I crave. I crave oil. Give me oil. Give me your oil. I must have it, I thirst. I thirst for your oil. More oil. More oil. <laughs> I need more oil. This massive ass field. This has a it has two name tags now because it's so big. Did you ever have rights to buy? No, I don't think so, but I, I remember that being a thing. People talked about it, but it never really happened. The modern communist part of Russia. It's just a united Russia with Soviet nostalgia, isn't it? Yeah, very much is. <laughs> Slap in the face of a prison tree. <laughs> Pimtool had two types, coughing out the circulation of his brain. Probably.
Why is it not possible to control the birth rate in Soviet bloc countries? Because it means a production for means of permanence. Because it means not having a Green New Deal. Not in, not in 1961. Just got here. Uh, oh, dab? Oh shit, we have like four dabs. I, actually, hang on. <coughs> How's that? Um, the, this game is Workers and Resources Soviet Republic, and it's great. What I want, what I'm looking for here, is I want to have too much oil. I want to be forced to take out a second train in loans. <laughs> I have so many loans. Oh my god, I'm gonna ruin myself with loans. Um, I think we're almost there, actually. I think we're almost at the level. Yeah, I think I think we are, actually. I think we might have to take a, uh, a new thing. Because what I want is, like, I just want more oil exports. And we're, we're, we're getting there. Because we almost have a train's worth full of oil already. And if we could just have that currently right now. We could ship that off while this train is coming back. But we need a second line. But let's see if we can do that. Because th this one has, like, all the all of the resources that we that we require. And thankfully, this game has a, has a wonderful feature where you can just like put something a track next to another track, uh, and it will work. Let's do something like, so, like that, just so it's connected. And then do something like this. They're not gonna use these, I hope, but you know, just in case they will, let's put something like these on them. And like, uh, it will account for like terrain and stuff, so you don't have to like dig out a whole as new thing, which is very useful. And then something like that, right? And we ran out of fucking money. Perfect. Okay, well, uh, fourth loan time. <laughs> it's all gonna be worth it. Uh, okay, so what is the best way to do one like here, right? Will you work? Will you go past that barrier? Let me know. Let me know if I fuck this up. It's on Steam, by the way. Yeah. The sake of American capitalism is the edge of an abyss. Definitely is. In a few years, communism will overtake it. Probably not. Like, I am... Oh, it just fits. Uh, I wonder what this will mean, though. Because, like, okay, I need to plan this out. Because now, if a train comes here, it won't stop until it reaches this, at which point it will be too late. If I put a semaphore here, it will stop. Right. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a one-way track actually, so they can just take they can just go around in circles. Wouldn't that work? So they would. Oh, sorry. Whoop. Like this? No. No, that wouldn't work. Would it? Uh, I don't know what to do. I don't know how. I don't know how semaphores work. But if I put something like here, right, then the train would stop here, and because of this sh chain semaphore, the train, when it turns around, it would pick the one that it's not on. I think I understand that correctly. Someone clip that. Clip what? We call that an interlocking train line. We call that interlock. <laughs> They're not gonna use these, I hope. It's immediately used. <laughs> I 
Let's 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 get another train on this line and see what the fuck happens. If everything falls apart, that you know, it'll suck, but that's just the way it's gonna have to be then. Or you're you're there. That's good. That's great. Good. So you won't enter this whole region. It's gonna electric locomotive. You have more engine power. No, you don't. No, yes, you do. But you're faster. Four twenty seems like a good amount of oil. Not a joke. Um, and then we do that. Wait until loaded. That's critical. And then just do that. So let's observe that for a bit. And <laughs> it immediately ran out of power. Beautiful. Why are you out of power, though? Do you not have power? Yes, you do. Why do you not have enough power? Am I not producing enough power? Oh, it's paused. There we are. There we are. No, follow. I just want to see if this works. How is everyone today? We're having 84 people watching the stream. Welcome! Uh, if you're new to this, my name is Mia Mulder. I'm a YouTuber who occasionally streams to Twitch for fun. Uh, but I do have fun. I'm turned off. That's good. Fine, thanks. How are you? I'm great. Oh! I think I spotted my first problem. Um, so this one can only go here and not of it there because I have a weird semaphore thing before connection that comes up over here. Yes, exactly. So what we need to do is have a chain semaphore here because that one will come over here. Which means we need to have a transfer like so. Which means that we now have another chain semaphore there. Which means that we need to have something like so. Now everything should work. Because now we have those semaphores to show if a train is at the station. It seems to be working now. No, fuck, damn it. Uh, I'm great. I think communism equals state owned and socialism isn't working out. Is socialism out? Oh, uh, there we go. Is, that just, is socialism actually a step before communism? I thought there were different things. Uh, it depends on who you ask. Like, some people, some philosophers claim that socialism is like an, an inevitable step to social, to communism, which is kind of what they mean when they say that. They don't mean that, like, trying to establish communism, you have to do socialism first. That's not necessarily what they mean. What they mean is, sometimes, is, oh, I have a new train. I don't know what that is. I think it's a metro. Um, th what they mean is... Okay. Why? Because the train is over there, not over here. So what's the issue? There we go. Oh, yeah. So now they can't enter, but now they can. Perfect. I think that's good. I think that's I think we're I think we're done. Yes. So you keep selling. You even have higher capacity than the other train that I sent over. <laughs> You're transferring over, you're taking the top one. You're transferring over, you're not moving at all. Yes, you are, but you have to take the bottom one. You can't take the top one. And you're taking the bottom one. Success. We're doing it! So now we have a second train running. So now we can make even more money quicker. Although we should probably do more. 
I'm sorry I have a hard time keeping up with chat. Um, I'm not used to having this many viewers. Uh, so the, the, the idea between socialism, socialism is like more the idea of like work your own thing. And a lot of people think that, a lot of philosophers think that this will inevitably lead to a communist state, sort of. Um, and that's kind of what I mean by that. I don't, I have opinions on that that I'm not necessarily sure that I can take here. I don't know. My headphones broke. Oh, I'm sorry. I know that I know the pain. It's around the ideas of the dictatorship of the proletariat. Some some ideas about communism are like that. Most of them, I think. Uh, but it it really depends. The signal in this game is hardcore. Yeah. I highly recommend watching the Cuck Philosophy video about misconception about Marxism. I haven't seen anything from Cuck Philosophy, but everyone keeps saying that Cuck Philosophy is great, so yeah, I, I, I guess I can refer to Cuck Philosophy. Communism is usually like a buzzword for the totalitarian Stalinism. Yeah, it's very, it usually very much is. The, it, it like, oh my god, and, just, and they just flip? They just, they just flip? Perfect. There is some risk, so I should have a, a I should have a separate exchange somewhere somewhere here in the middle, because there is a certain risk that they can like this one will start to go over to the top one just as this one starts to go over to the top one too, and then they then they get smushed. But if I have an exchange in the middle somewhere with with uh, chain signals, then one of them can just go under the other, and that should be good. Actually, let's, let's just do that. Like, just in case they fuck each other up. Like, they probably won't, but just in case. Oil exports are good. I like this when we are producing so much that our storage facility is, like, empty running on dry, because that means we have reached our capacity of what we can produce like that, which means I think it's time for another expansion of the oil fields. I know, I know this is maybe not the most interesting, like, content to watch right now, but like, I don't know, you need a free bulldozer construction, of oh, I don't have that over here, I guess. But I want the oil, though. I must have spent a lot of money to get this oil. This lake? Fuck this lake. It has oil in it. Uh, let's do something like so, and do something like so. So. Oh no! Oh no, I fucked up! I'm just gonna move the substation, I guess. Please. Something like that. Boop. And then additional. The, the the benefit of doing all of this now is that like we will most likely net like ever never ever actually have to worry about like not having enough oil. Um, because we'll just produce we'll just outproduce like our own imports. Especially when we start refining this into fuel, right? Because like that's that's where the real money is. Because um, fuel is like f four times or like twice as expensive. You're not working. Why are you not working? You don't have a power supply. That sucks. Let's fix that. <laughs> Let's put a substation like there and then put a switch like here or something.
lost switches. And now they're all working. They appear to all be working. This train is full. Do we have a second train in the depot? Yeah, we do. Thank you, thank you everyone for following. I'm I'm surprised that people like my content. <laughs> that sounds depressing to say like that, but you know what I mean. I have anxiety. Uh, can the trains crash? Uh, they can't crash, but they can like meet up and get stuck on each other uh, and cause like infinite traffic jams, which isn't fun. Can you fill up, please? You are slowly filling up, which is good. We are producing a lot of oil. I really like how... Because this... Look at this. I like how the animation is quicker for the ones with better quality. So, like, this one is moving really slow because it only has, like, a 31 quality, while this one has, like, a 90% quality and produces a lot of oil. I like that. Mm, yeah, and now that now that both of them are out of out of the thing, the other one's coming back. I mean, obviously we're spending like a ton of money right now, and that's not great actually. But like we, all of this is going to boost our income. Every every ruble we we invest here will. Uh, will end up being worth it. So you have 480, which I don't even have close enough for that, but you're also the big train. Now what I could do if I wanted to be like very inefficient is I could just un unclick this, wait until loaded, and would just head off as soon as it loaded up, as soon as it emptied storage. But that would waste a lot of energy because you know it's not using wattage while uh, while it's stationary. So this is save energy. Need to find a bulldozer mine. Yeah, I do. You went from eight hundred subscribers to twenty four hundred in a year and a half. Inside, I think it would be normal. That's true. The thing is, like, when you say it like that, you you know, it sounds like a rousing success, <laughs> which it is. Um, uh, but then I look at like other creators who like wait went from like zero subscribers to like thirty thousand or fifty thousand in six months, and then I feel like, mm, well, I didn't do that. I, I'm I'm a worse creator than there. Hello, my name is Jordan Peterson slash Kermit the Frog. And uh, I'm a better YouTuber than Mia Mulder because she has anxiety about her performance uh, on YouTube and is worried about her future potential career. This this went a lot deeper than I thought it would go actually. Let's uh let's let's move on. <laughs> what are we doing? Uh, I'm just looking at oil right now. That's fine. How's happiness going? Happiness has gone down a little bit. Food satisfaction has gone down a little bit. I'm sorry. What's up? The current number of choppers is full. Oh, we have too many people, so people can't actually get food. Um, this is, I think, is a good opportunity to perhaps expand our um, our like little city, maybe, so people can access food better. Because we have too many people, we can also just build like a small store. Like a grocery store? Like, we just build a grocery store, like, here. And I think that, that would probably do it. Um, like, I don't think we have huge troubles. I don't think we're actually close to having an, an actual issue. Uh, but it, it can be good to keep an eye on. I might, I, I kind of just want to, like, here maybe? Let's build a substation there too, because we don't have one, and it's been the ongoing cause of issues. Let's 
let's just have it go along the road. And then we can have a bit of a switch over here. Oh my god, and it will and it will even hook up to the thing. Am I a tanky? Uh, I don't label myself as any kind of leftist political uh, ideology for uh, for the specific purpose of not starting like a drama of any sort. Um, so you know, take from that what you will. Because uh, I feel like whenever you label yourself anything, people will judge me uh, depending on the label rather than my ideas. So far uh, on YouTube, on my channel, people seem to agree with my ideas and what I have to say, uh, as well with, with, with what I say on Twitter. We're running out of coal, though. Oh, because these, these are flipped. Because it goes, so it goes to the customs house and sells the coal and then it goes to the place. That's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to go here and like, because we're running out of coal. I was like, what, what, what? So you're going to... Wait, what? Let's rename this. Um, train coal. S and this is train call N what oh okay I think this kind of got messed up but now it's fixed anyway and now you got call I wonder, why that, oh, I wonder why that was so messed up. Oh well. It happens. Um, if you want to do a contemporary group, I think you would have to roll your back at some point. I'm straight up a little bit concerned about Jordan Peterson. Like, I'm a bit concerned. What the fuck was that? I just saw a big flash of light. Was that a nuke? If I die, if this stream cuts out, like, a second now, a nuke just went off somewhere close to my building. Because I just had a big flash of light. Hopefully it was just, like, glare from, like, a neighbor's apartment window or something. I mean, I'm not concerned for Jordan Peterson because, like, I care about him as a person. Like, I don't. <laughs> like, I think his I think his ideas are extremely poor. Uh, you can watch my video on Jordan Peterson, actually, which is, I think, one of my best videos. Um, and you can see my opinions that I have upon him. Uh... Okay, coming back. Perfect. Um... Look, we're making a profit. And we're still building stuff too, like we built schools and we built a new train, uh, an electrical substation, a new grocery store even, which I should actually hook up to a place. Yeah, because it's not getting anything. Um, you, distribution office, supply food. There you go. We have, oh my god, we have so much food. Why do we have so much food? Your distribution, you're the customs house. And yeah. And you're exporting all the food. We have too much food. Uh, okay. Uh, covered hall. Let's just get the biggest truck possible, I guess. Let's get two of them, fuck it. And then just go. Hang on, copy. Ex 
support it. I, we, we don't need it. Just go. Uh, but the reason the reason I'm a bit like concerned about him is because um, uh, I you know I have I've had friends who have dealt with like like drug problems and it's not great. Uh, and I wouldn't I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. And I literally mean that. Uh, and while Jordan Peterson isn't my worst enemy, uh, I I feel like no one should suffer. Uh, from uh, from something uh, from something like that But that's just my own take Take it as you will let's make this road a bit more efficient We're producing so much food Because food is like not bad as, a, as an export. Uh, you should buy some meat because we, we don't have that. We have food, but we don't have meat. Happiness is a bit more stable. I mean, happiness and food satisfaction is like at the top. Alcohol addiction is like nothing almost. Uh, mm, loyalty to the government is going down. What the fuck? Nukes aren't just bright, they're literally blinding circles. Yeah, but. Was the French trying to contain the virus? Oh no. This is oh yeah, I saw about this. Uh, 173 years ago, the Choctaw Nation sent uh, aid to Ireland during the famine, 16 years after they suffered the Trail of Tears. And today, some Ir Irelanders have uh, taken it upon themselves to return the favor by sending money to the Choctaw Navajo GoFundMe. Sending a lot of uh, money for, for PPE during the coronavirus. Yeah, because apparently uh, tribes... Uh, tribes in America are like getting fucked over constantly, and like even with the uh, with the well, now with the cor coronavirus, it seems even worse. So that's 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 great. We have too much food. I mean, I guess it's a good problem for our little republic to have. I guess too much food. Let's get another truck. Because we just need to get it out of here, because it makes our factories inefficient, and we can make money from, from selling it. Like, the distribution offices are great, and they'll distribute it to, the, to, the, to all the places that need it, but... We're producing too much. New vehicle type. A microbus! I think that's like an ambulance thing? That's cool. I wonder, do we have a close border with NATO somewhere? No, it's very far away. Because I'm considering maybe sending... Because we're not buying anything from NATO. We're buying a lot of things from the Soviet Union. But if we start buying, like... But if we start selling, like... I don't know. Maybe we can, like, fill up a train to... And then send that to, to NATO. And we just send, like, food to it. Would that be something? I mean, we can't afford it right now. But what if we? But what if we did, <laughs> or like a car, like a truck, and we just sent it to NATO? Because we're not buying anything from them, so we could just keep those dollars as much as we wanted. What the fuck am I buying still? Boards? No. Electronics. Yeah, I guess. Fuel. I mean, fabric and crops. Crops is still the biggest thing. We have so many fields. I mean, I guess, I know they're all growing, but like, still. Uh, okay, since f crops seems to be like one of our biggest things still. Um, I tire. I tire of this tomfoolery. No? Okay, well, build road. Red? Red. 
Road. 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 Some more fields. Uh, it won't do much, but it'll, it will produce more seeds and uh, more crops. Because crops is like we are, we are at, we are deficient. We are crop deficient, especially because we because we're producing so much food. Uh, I could actually I could really benefit from just hooking this up to like a thing, but like the roads there. If I could redesign this, maybe I could have like a railway go up here, connect with this somehow, and then sell like a train full of bread. Would that be a bad idea? I don't think it would. I mean... Don't trade with NATO, they're trying to, they're trying to make you worse. Uh, if there was a nuclear war, would I survive it? Uh, I, th I, th I think I'd be pretty good with it. I had some basic like military training, uh, what's it called, like CR CRTB? Probably not what it's called. Uh, we we had some basic like radiation survival training. What's it called? Chemical C chemical radiation C R bacterial I think or biological sorry. And there's something else. Something else I forgot. But I think I I think I could do it. Uh, I don't think I'd be good at it. Uh, but I, I I get the feeling that I know enough about like radiation. And um, and survival techniques to survive like a little bit. I'd try. CBRN. There we go. There we go. Thank you very much. Turquoise tail. It's pretty nice that big YouTubers are having smaller ones like me. In my time, scourge shell because I'm more relaxed and love stream. Thank you. I like to think that I do good. I I feel weird though because sometimes people will like, people will accuse me of being a big YouTuber. Like some people will claim that I, that I am a that I'm a big YouTuber that has like a lot of clout. And that I need to support smaller YouTubers, which I try to do, but at the same time, you know, I, I still consider myself a very small YouTuber. I, lo I should consider myself extremely lucky to be able to to do this as a job. Like, I, I do YouTube, like, that's literally my job. Uh, and I'm very lucky for it. Uh, but at the same time, I know that I am, um, I am not... I am not the majority. There are people with way way larger audiences than me that don't make enough to support themselves uh there are people with um and there are people with like large much fewer uh audiences that make more money than me so it's uh, it's very weird uh but i'm very lucky to to have this as my job thanks to you uh, and i'm also very thankful to like other big youtubers that have like shared my videos and supported Supported my content in whatever way they can like Ollie has been a has been a great help uh, Sharing is you know one thing, but he's also like given me a lot of advice and support which I feel like is, is even more valuable um, ad Like advice to how to, how how to do YouTube That's advice you can't you can't get you, you can't get enough good advice. Look at that profit though Look at that That's what we'd like to see now we're actually making money, even though we we are losing money every month because of the loans. When we are like one and a half million rubles in debt, not great. But we are actually making money now, and we're making a significant amount of it every month. Um, especially now also that we're like exporting food. I wish I had a bigger truck. Um, yeah, I don't know, I'm thankful, I'm happy. I'm happy that things have been good. 
uh, things are just going up. But uh, and if you if you want to support me doing this as a job, because uh, like I don't earn a ton of money, but I earn enough to like stay stay around and do it as a job without having to worry. I can pay taxes, which was like the big worry that I was gonna have that I was that I wouldn't have enough to pay tax, but I do. Uh, you can go to patreoncom Mulder and you can become a patron of mine. Although, like, I have sponsors now, so I'm not actually that, like, in the, deep in the pain. Dab? Oh my god, so many dabs! That should be enough. In the game timeline, since the early 60s, does that mean you're safe from structural adjustments? How far back does it go? I have no idea. Oh my god, it's even more dabs. Some hydrates? Yeah. My favorite color? My favorite color is. I don't know. I, don't know, I think it's red. It's either red or like green. I like green. Green is a good color. Okay, well this this keeps going. I think we're at a balance now where we just keep paying back loans. Uh, losing some money to them every now and then. And then... Um, earning more money, which is good. Like, I feel like that final loan to build out the oil field was pretty good. But now... You know, we're earning quite a bit of money, but like most of it is going to loans. I'm just gonna leave... I'm just gonna... Actually, I'm gonna save the game. Save as... Like that, I have to go to the restroom, so I'm saving just in case everything fucks up. Uh, but I'm gonna leave as as before. I'm going to leave this here, and then when I come back, hopefully we'll have some either some more money uh, or some more debts repaid, which I feel like is good. Vehicle type. Oh, a new bus. Okay, but I'll be back in like a minute. I'm just gonna. Just gonna hide my disgusting human face. And then we'll do it like that. I'll be right back!
Oh god. There we are. Christ. Oh, I hate it when you just put down headphones and your and your hair just kind of goes. Ugh. And you start looking like um like a worm man, and I don't like that. Well, our economy is back on track. I'm not a big fan of government loyalty going down, and I really kind of want to build that radio station soonish. Can we fit it somewhere? Like here, maybe? If we extend here and just have a radio station on the outside of town. Or like something like here, maybe. I think that could be fine. <laughs> They're just doing their best. Thank God I don't have to spend money doing this. Oh, almost. Uh, the reason I want to do this is twofold. One, uh, like our culture in German is like pr still pretty low. Um, so if we can like have a radio station, people will enjoy themselves a lot more. Like it'll cost so much money though. Like it'll, I don't know, I'm sure it's gonna be worth it. I'm expanding just a little bit here, just in case. Mia's tail? What the fuck? My tail? What? <laughs> what? Well, okay, well, if I do, what if I do like that? 300,000 rubles? Fuck that. Now it's just gonna be a little bit, bit of a peninsula. How much did we make last month? 200,000 rubles. Great, too bad we can't keep it. It all has to go to the loan payments. Let's actually pay back this loan. There we are. So now we don't have to pay interest on that anymore. Let's try, because at this rate, we should be able to pay back like loans fairly soon-ish, I think. Because we made that money. We have a passive income that's going up, and also we are producing a lot of oil. Depending on how how my money situation looks in a bit, I might do that thing that I mentioned earlier, that I just build a... Uh, build like a train for our... for... for bread. Because we are producing a lot of bread. Like, I could shut this down by not buying more crops, and we would be fine, probably. Um, but we are making money from that. Because, like, how much are we importing in crops? Like, 7,000. How much are we winning by exporting food? 18,000. So, like, we're, we're, making, we're making a profit off of it, first of all. And also, we are, like, feeding ourselves, which is great. People are shopping here, which is great. This shopping center. What is this? A new car. Can you do covered hall? No, you can. That's kind of what I need right now. What else can I have? A new cistern. Yeah, it doesn't really do that much. <laughs> Care cement. 
Mermaid. Mermaid. Antrotsky. Is there a war communism level? No, not that I know of. Fun fit, we could totally make something. Yeah, okay. My ears, oh, I'm sorry. I haven't read the places in Kraftwerk. Kraftwerk is very good. A new car has entered the ring. Furry Mia, Mermaid Mia. I'm waiting for people to like, I've been asking for this for like a year. I've been waiting for people to like give me a furry personality. Uh, it hasn't happened yet though. I'm just waiting for it. Yeah, we're just waiting for death payments. The reason why we're in so much debt, by the way, is because I kind of um, did some miscalculations early on in the um, in the game. But thankfully, since we got the oil fields running, that's good. Because I was kind of hoping that we would rely on power exports. Turns out, it's not actually that reliable with power exports. What I want to build after we are, are like out of debt is like maybe we can maybe we can do kind of some kind of iron mine, like an iron mining town, like over here or something. And we can connect it all up with like a train track, for example. Some roads can go along the river. It can be very nice. Oh, look at that with the lights in the in the distance. It's beautiful. Um, and then we'll have like its own power generation. Maybe we'll set up like another coal plant because this coal plant isn't very efficient. Like it's running the power here, but this power plant is not that efficient either. Like. Could be better. We are getting a lot more workers. We have a lot of adults living at home. Hmm. We should build a house for them. So that they can move out and start their own families. Um residential. Some more towers. We can afford to we can afford to make some minor houses, I think. Don't get citizens, because we're gonna use our own. Use our own? Dark. How about that? It's a lot of money. I might have spent too much money. But it's fine, we have good exports. That house is done, people are moving in. Our, yeah, okay, so this one kind of says, like, how many people are ready to move. Ready to move out. Oh, and they instantly become productive age workers. Oh, so when they are living with their parents, they're not, they can't do anything. They're basically like children and basically homeless. But then they instantly become productive age workers. This is wonderful news. This means more workers. I like how this building is like slowly being constructed over time. Wonder why is this house more popular than this house? Oh fuck. Oh no. Do you see what's happening? The red bar. It's going up again. Which animals can- Oh yeah, that was the story that I was gonna talk about. So I, I, I've, like, I've been waiting for a year, because I remember last year, it was like a big thing that everyone did this like... They gave everyone in like left bread tube like a fursona thing. And no one ever gave me a fursona. I think that maybe they did, but like I forgot it. <laughs> Flamingo was pretty popular for a time. 
Um, goose. The goose one was very good. I have, I have an artist friend who does like a lot of art of me as a goose. It was very good. I like the goose. My god. Why doesn't anyone want to live in this house? What's wrong with this house? These houses- this house is almost- what's wrong with this house? Maybe it's too far away. Maybe like, maybe they have to like actually work. Which I think means that we've reached a point in the game where we actually need to do a thing like this. Which is an excellent problem to have. We need to have a, a bus that just goes around the city. Let's have this new kind of bus, this new fangled bus. What this does, what this bus does, it doesn't actually carry Students, is it workers? It just carries students and passengers around the city. So, adults here, for example, living with their parents who want to go here because they're up here now, they can take the bus from here to here and they can move in over here. Like, they don't have to walk everywhere. And this is the reason, this is how the game kind of encourages players to, um, to become. What's it called? We have to have like a normal commuting thing, because usually in the beginning you just have like work lines. But then you can send them off to like do normal things. This looks interesting, is it fun? I think it's very fun. But it's not like, it's definitely not a game for everyone. Like, not even close. Oh my god, I just wanna borrow- I just wanna borrow more money, but I can't, because it'll be irresponsible. will work. Workers? No, no workers. Here. Oh! No? Okay. I don't know what the I'm doing. Am I wrong? Does this, does this not help them move? Because there are a bunch of adults here living with their parents, but they're not moving into new apartments. Why not? Because they can travel there. So what's the issue? coming in. Did they have to be in walking distance? That doesn't make sense at all. How do I deal with the overpopulation? But like, how am I supposed to deal with overpopulation, though? Uh, let's research some engineering. I'm confused.
You know, the statues more than the Catholic Church of the Soviet Union. Oh, the Catholic Church for sure. I'm looking at my history homework. What kind of homework? I'm curious. I haven't studied history in like a long time, so I'm curious. Considering I have a his like a degree in, in the shit, I feel like I should know something about it. Is there no way to kick tenants out? Maybe there is. Relocate up to five citizens. Okay, I'm clicking the thing, but it's not actually doing anything. <laughs> Oh, fuck. I realize this stream has literally just been like expanding, expanding the oil fields. Over at Morborsk. Actually, um. Because people mentioned it in chat. No? Uh, yes. But like, you know, I can't really do much because all my money, which I, I, it would be, it would be great to be able to keep this money. Obviously, I'm, this year I've spent more than I've gained because of the train and everything, and the oil fields. Uh, but I'm, I, I am recuperating that cost. I just wish that I could pay this off. But maybe that's a, maybe that'll be the stream, and like next week or something, we can actually like start expanding. But we're going quick speed. There's no rush. This game goes on like forever, I think. The Gilded Age of the U.S. The number of goose first animals have exploded over the last year, yeah. <laughs> Hello, I just joined after seeing the last stream I put this game on my Steam wishlist and plan on buying it soon. Any tips? Um, be patient with it. Um, if you play for a bit and you find that it's instantly not your style, because I feel like some people will play it like that and be like, not for me, don't like it at all. No. Uh, I would suggest that, that you refund it at that point, because, like, this game is not for everyone. <laughs> um, start off by, like, exporting some coal, exporting some power, and setting up a coal industry, because you can make some easy money that way. If you go too big too quick, you'll bankrupt yourself like I did. Uh, having an oil industry right here. I'm exporting it, uh, I guess, west. Good money strategy. And you don't need any people to do it. You can just do this like with, without any human interaction at all. All of this can be automated, including the trains. You're still working. Good, good, good. I like how we're just having trucks just export food. If I took like a two million dollar loan, would that be a bad idea? Over five years, would that be a good idea? Because then I could pay off those things. I could pay off the loans and then I could actually like do something. Would that be a bad idea? How's the stream going? It's going good. Uh, I mean, this episode of, of 
Moldergrad is a bit slow, but that's just because, like, we, we're just paying back that. Halfway, halfway studying. Do it. Okay. Fuck it. Fuck it. Oh, fuck it. Okay. And then we're paying back these loans. Like the short term loans. So we have one big long term loan instead. Cool. Now we can do shit. <laughs> now, what do we do with this newfound wealth? So we're paying back a thousand a day. That's fine. I think we're earning more than enough to upgrade that. Okay. Okay. Let's, um... We're importing alcohol, we're importing meat. Fuel. Fuel is it like still a big thing. Um, how? Ooh. What if we do that refinery thing that we talked about? And if it doesn't work, we have like three hundred thousand though. That's a three hundred thousand for an old refinery. But if we do it, we'll earn so much more money though. That's the thing. Like if we do it, we it we we will be worth it. Let's do it. Fuck it. <laughs> um, so first up we need a loading and unloading station. Like something like this or something. Yeah, it'll, it'll be fine. It's an investment. And then let's do something like... So, and something like this, we'll have a chain, 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 that should be fine, because no one's using this line right now, this will only be to export fuel, <laughs> we're already so deep in the hole, okay, and oil, oil refinery. First, first we should have an oil storage, and then a refinery based f out of that. We have to set up a bus route for this too, but that'll be fine, we have plenty of workers now. And then we should do two different storage things because and the reason this is important because uh, refining refining doesn't just uh, create fuel it also creates a bitumen which I don't really know what that is when you go around, you will. But can you go around like that? Perfect. And then you can go... Like, I don't actually know what bitumen is, like, in real life. Um, it's something gross, probably. It sounds gross. Too long? Damn it! Uh, it's fine. We'll just have to deal with that. By having a pumping station. I was just hoping we wouldn't have to do that. Like, someone here. Oh my god, it's backwards. Stop, stop building. <laughs> I'm so bad at the game. There we go. And then we do like that. And then we do like so. And then we do like so. Uh, so the idea is that these will store oil, no, fuel, and bitumen, and then we're gonna have trains just carry that shit out. And we're out of money, perfect. Let's have another load. 
Uh, but let's do a five year one, because we need this money and it'll be worth it. Our economy's great. What are you talking about? Because we need so much things. It'll, it'll all be worth it. It'll all be worth it. Um, we have to set up another... Thing like so. I have no idea if this is like the... Maybe... I don't know if this is the smartest thing or the least smart thing I've ever done. Why wouldn't this one allow me to go back? Oh, cause it... no. What? Oh, cause the... the is, is the coal train out? The coal train is out. Okay. That makes sense. Um, so what now we can do is, let's redirect one of the trains. Well, first, let's set up a, a bus route. We need workers for this uh, this refinery. But thankfully, we are overflowing with workers. So let's get a new bus. No students or passengers. We're just uh, gonna do like so. Wonder if I could just drop them. Wonder if I could just like. Do I even need to build that? Can I, can I just drop them off like at the plant? Am I, am I, am I, am I, am I, am I a fool? Maybe I'm a fool. Whatever, it's built. New vehicle type. An ambulance, cool. Uh, let's, I'm earning money though. See, I took a loan for two, to, for two million and I'm, I'm already back. So you are the big one. But because this journey is longer, let's take you. Over here. No, actually, it should be the smaller one. So let's wait for the smaller one to come back. And the smaller one would take the oil because the big one needs to trade. And we can always fix that later. Um, let's go here. Be gone. Unload. And that's what's gonna do now. Like it's just gonna take oil here, into this oil, into this oil storage. It will be processed here, turned into bitumen and fuel. And now we just need another train to take it from here. We, I mean, we, we're gonna end up having two, needing two trains, I think. Uh, <laughs> I don't really know how we're gonna deal with the bitumen, because one of them will export fuel and the other one will export bitumen, because they can't mix fluids. It's fine. Electric oh, we have new trains. Are you new? I think this one is new. Yeah, because these are the original ones and this one is new. It has a, like a ton more horsepower. That's fine. Cargo wagon. How much can you carry? Let's say 420. It's a good wholesome number. Let's wait for the coal train to move away. Wait until loaded. And then go here to sell it. I think this will work. I think we're gonna earn a lot of money this way. And you can start whenever you're ready. Oh, okay, the coal train's still out. It's fine. It's fine. I'm just gonna sneak past. No one will mind. Uh, we should make an exchange here too. I don't know really what this. This only not called an exchange, but just in case they need to switch for whatever reason. 
Oh. Oh, well, that's not great at all. Um, cancel railway. Just be gone. Oh, because there's a vehicle on. I can't do that. Ugh. Can I just do something like that? No, because you're on top of it. Can you just go to the place now empty? It's fine. So I can adjust this railway so it's not as trash. Sorry, I'm not looking at chat. I'm um, doing infrastructure. Too sharp a return. It's fine. We can fix that. There we go. Something like so. Something like so. And something like so. And I'll send it back. By the power of magic! Behold how I flipped the train. Okay. Having a discussion about tests. Which is fine. Not everything has to be about me. Where's the train though? Where's the oil train? Here it is. Here it comes. Let's see if this supply line that we cooked up will work. We might end up with like a surplus of some resource, but we can fix that because I also have like huge trucks that can deal with uh, that can deal with oil or bitumen. How does this game compare to City Skylines? I want to love City Skylines, but it feels so dumb and detached from reality. You'll probably like this. That's my big problem with Skylines too. Like, it often feels like it doesn't have anything to do with like actual cities. You know? Oh yeah. Wait, where's the bitumen going? Wait, where's the bitumen? Oh, the bitumen's going in the thing! <gasps> Wait, you can mix? Vehicle is transporting. No, 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 no. You're not supposed to... <laughs> Stop that. Stop that. <laughs> You're not supposed to be taking the oil. <laughs> Give it back. Bad train, give it back. Give back the oil. It's not your oil. Well, at least I know it can it can mix. I didn't think it could, but apparently it can. Did you hear about Jesse Ventura saying he'll run for president? Yeah, he won't win. Like, he won't make a den. Hydrate. Oh, I'm running out of water. Do I have a soda or something nearby? Fuck. Mmm. I'll pick up some water. I'll be right back then. Oh. Okay. I drank some water. I'm doing some water now too. It's filling up with bitumen. Are you not full? Filling up with fuel. 
I'm guessing like it's some one of those things like every each individual tank can have can't mix. So like I think the bitumen lines are are full, but the fuel, like wagons are still, still hauling. Look at this though, like this is so much money. Oh no! That's too much oil! No! no. I wonder if I'll do a thing where like... It goes back and forth, like it, it'll drop up oil here, it'll go here, pick up more, sell it, uh, like top top off if it ends up having too much. Like it'll top it off here, sell everything, fill up, deposit here, fill up, sell. Is that a bad idea? I don't think that's a bad idea at all. Let's do that. Load 100%, when it's loaded. That way we still have an oil export. We need another. Are people writing here? No, because I have unchecked that. I can only open that up though. A lot of workers are waiting, but they are not infinite. Okay, our, our adult living at home with their parents' population has like drastically declined. That's good to know. That's good to have. But now we have more babies and children are also getting up. Our population is rising again. But it's also good that our population is getting up. Because that's more workers. like how we have like an industrial area our farms are expanded a little bit our city is like improving slowly but surely happiness still maxed out pretty much food not perfect but it's pretty good health is very good garbage loyalty keeps going down but like no one is addicted to alcohol like we basically cured alcohol addiction uh, sports in German is pretty high, religion sympathy is decent, clothing quality is pretty good. What the fuck? We had three escapes? Who escaped this place? This place is great! What are you talking about? Go work in the coal mines. How dare you escape? Fuck you. How is this not full yet? It needs, I mean, we need more workers here. I want to try something. Can I... Can I just add the refinery and not the stop? Can I do that? I can just... Why... So why have I been putting out bus stops everywhere? I don't need to. It can just stop at the station. So fucking dumbass. Sometimes. I've been wasting money building bus stops. I didn't even know a distribution center was a thing until like last game. Play for a little bit more. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little bit tired. But like, our economy is like booming, which is great. Oh shit, wait. <gasps> the train's leaving, okay. 
Look at that, 60,000! And that's like even mixed in with normal oil. Just refining it into fuel has like made it so much more profitable. One train load, 60k. Merry Christmas, everyone. This building is on fire. In Mormorsk. Sucks. The horrifying thing is, like, they actually do this. Like, in actual, real human life. In actual order. Like, they just let them burn out sometimes. Because they are in the middle of nowhere. And they don't care. Like, it's, 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 it's more profitable for it to just burn down and rebuild than have to, like, save it and then scrap it and then fix it up again. It really depends on the oil derrick, but, like, sometimes it's apparently worth it. Capitalism is a fuck. Or, in my case, so socialism is a fuck. Sword gaff. And it's picking up the bitumen. It's not picking up a lot of bitumen, though. Did you even sell that bitumen? I wonder... Is bitumen stored in tankers? Hang on, what is bitumen stored in? Uh, cargo wagon. Bitumen, oil tank, yeah. Oil tank, okay. So I guess that that's that's one one of the tanks is just dedicated to bitumen and the other ones are dedicated to fuel. I kind of wish like they picked another one too, but like I guess that's not how it works. Like two 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 slots of bitumen. I wish you could dedicate like each individual thing, like not just. You know, like I could dedicate like you. I want. I want that, I want that, and I want that. I mean, I can I can do like 50%, I guess. No, I can't even do that. I can't even do 50% of each. I wish I could do that. Line detail. Yeah, I can't. Like, I don't have that amount of control. Which I wish I did. Uh, either way, though, like, we have a profitable line. And that's the most important part. Even though we have, like, way too much in debt. Oh, still, we're even more in debt now than we were when we started. But it's fine, because we make more money. Like last turn when we made... When we built this thing, yeah. And now we're making, like... We're making money hand over fist. Like, we're, we're, we're so good. We're literally just limited by workforce. So, with that in mind... Let's have another bus. No, 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 no. Because we just need more workers. And there's always people waiting here. Almost always, anyway. We just need people working at the at the refinery. That's literally our biggest limitation right now. Humans. Like it's filling up quicker, but we need more. Yes! Yes! That's what I'm talking about. Look at that though! Like 50,000 50, in one train. Let's look at the last, last month's exports. 
oil still maintained like a big big thing but fuel almost made up half of the oil income by one delivery and wasn't even a full delivery lango up what is it from talking about like the nhs I don't know anything about the NHS. I'm sorry. I wish I did, but I don't. People are clapping outside, gotta see it. We don't do that here. We haven't we haven't gotten to that level just yet. Like I could sell this for sixty-nine for twenty dollars. We're making good money though, like, last month, quarter of a million in a month? Yeah, I don't, th I don't think we have that much more to worry about, if I'm totally honest. I wish I could reduce the amount of, like, employees, like, this. we don't need this many food employees. Half would be fine. Uh, covered hall. Yeah, I need or either that or I need a big truck. What if I just made a train to sell that? Would that be bad? Would that be a bad idea? Probably not, right? Because this is maxed out like most of the time anyway, and then we're not producing anything. That's inefficient. Can never have enough trains. That's a good point. No one drives here anyway. No, I mean, I, I mean they do, but like, I mean they don't. Let's do like that, and then let's rebuild. No, that's connected up. There's not a solution in the world that can't be fixed with more infrastructure. Prove me wrong, you can't! Chain, chain, chain. Yes? Where's the coal train? It's over here. Great. That's good. Uh, train. Electric locomotive. We we don't need a big one. We can have the cheapest one. That's fine. Because we're not. We're just. We're just gonna transport food. So that's just a box car, right? One hundred and eight. How much food can this carry? Three hundred and twenty. So like, if three hundred ish, is that bad? Three hundred. I'm so. I'm just happy that I'm doing it, something productive here. That's a long train. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think this works. So do it like that. Wait until loaded. Sell. Start. Let's see if this works. Just food exports to the Soviet Union. Give us rubles and we'll give you bread. Because we're producing too much food with the crops that we imported from you. That doesn't look right. You can head to the depot then, because I'm not going to use you anymore. Because I'm going to use the train for exports. 
And now this will be infinitely more efficient. You head to the depot too. Because I'm not using you anymore. It's all the train now. Trucks are over. Trains are my, now my best friend. You're you're good because you're gonna be here and sell clothes. We're not producing that many clothes though. Like clothes are not that very much produced. I mean, you don't need many of them apparently. But we're not making much of it. Okay, let's see if this works. Twenty, almost oh thirty thousand. Damn. Line go up! And the coal train is waiting for us, that's perfect. And you'll turn back and destroy your train. <coughs> Perfect. And the coal keeps going. No. <laughs> no. All of you. <laughs> All of you go back to the to the depot. None of you are exporting food anymore. Only me. See now, now, now they now they want to produce because now we're now we're our export our export capacity is exceeding um, is exceeding our export capacity our production capacity. Thankfully, people come here to work literally all the time, so this is like an always stocked factory. So this will always work. Uh, the only thing I hope is that we're not going to take away too much like food production from the stores and dis distribution centers, but I don't think we will because this one will pick up even if there's like the slightest thing. What are you doing? No, depot. Fuck off. Oh, this one goes here? Oh, you don't need to do that. Depot. People walk to this workstation, because now it's not broken anymore. This one's just waiting here for the train to pass. <laughs> but it won't, because the train's too long. See, that one train replaced so many cars. Post it on Twitter? Hang on. Okay, let me see it. Did you link me in it? Yes! I'm retweeting that. Thank you. I love fan art. Also, those roads are suspiciously not train tracks. Yeah, and this this one's just vibing, which is fine. I'm considering not having this wait until loaded. But it'll be way too much over here, and that won't be practical. I'm surprised my trains are actually working this time. Mm, usually they don't do that. I, I'm guessing we had a bitumen export, because we, we're out of bitumen.
Oh, the clothing factory is fully, fully operated and we almost have no clothes. I mean, it's a good problem to have because I, I, I just didn't expect clothes to be this like very precious resource. Although that, I mean, I guess it would make sense considering the price of it. Because clothes are like very expensive. For what they are, I mean, chemicals are pretty good too. Like if we make a chemical plant, if we make a, chem like a chemical plant, what do we need for that? We need gravel, we, we can do wood, we can do crops, oil, and gravel. Like we can probably do this. Couldn't we? Like we could, we could, we, we could, if we really wanted to, we could have a chemical plant, like here, almost. More realistically, maybe up here, because I feel like this works as a, like a chemistry station area. Um, we could do that. Like that's not an impossibility, because we produce wood. We produce a lot of wood, like too much wood. Some would say. Um, I would say also. Um, crops are cheap, even though we're not producing enough of that because we're m spending most of it on, on food. Um, yeah, okay, so this works. When the train is away, they can restock the stores with what comes up here. So that, that'll work out. And we're making money. Last month we made almost nothing because we imported a bunch of vehicles apparently. Oh we, oh, we still made a profit, despite building a train. And a train track. That's... that's pretty cool. Uh, okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna save this. Uh, I'm just gonna save it as debt. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quit the game. <laughs> but what I'm gonna do after the stream is over is I'm gonna let this run for a bit and just pay back debt, because I feel like next stream, I feel like it would be a lot of more fun if we, um, uh, if we actually had money to work with, like it, if we had, if we were a bit more self-sustaining. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna let that run for a bit and, uh, and make it back. However, this has been a fun stream. I hope it was a lot of talking about the NHS. I'm playing this game so much. Hey, Alexi! It's very good. Build a zone, a chemical plant zone. I produce too much wood, that's true. Um, but yes, I think, this got, I think that was fun. I think what I'm gonna do is tonight is I'm gonna let it run for a bit, pay back some debts, uh, like maybe half a year will go or something like that, like nothing, but I won't, I won't like build any facilities, I won't, like, I'll maintain the city, but I won't, like, expand, I won't, like, build a new town. And then sometime next week, we might return to this. Maybe even tomorrow, depending on, like, how much time I have, and depending on how fun we're having. Uh, how do you like that? I think that, I think that'll be good, right? Uh, do people want... No, it's too late. I was about to offer something else, but it's, I'm very tired. Um, so I'm not gonna do that. Uh, but this is fun. Uh, my name has been Mia Mulder, if you like me and my content, you should go to youtube.com slash C slash Mia Mulder and subscribe, and please watch my, my most recent video called Apathy and Democracy, because I think it's really good, and uh, I want more people to watch it, I want, I want more people to see it, because it's kind of underperforming, and I don't like that, but uh, it's all good. But I'm gonna go to bed. I hope you all had a good time. Um, if you want to follow me on Twitter, you can do that too. I'm on twitter.com slash potato politics, which is a great link. Um, or if you want to support me financially for some reason, you can you can always donate bits here, you can subscribe, or you can go to patreon.com slash me and uh, There should be a link in the description. You don't have to, uh, but I appreciate every, like whenever you do. Uh, especially in these times. Obviously, you know, not everyone can, it's entirely understandable. Uh, and just watching, you know, sometimes, the, 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 some people will beg for subs, but what you really should do is, uh, I should, I want to tell you all that, like, the greatest support 
anyone can ever give. It's just enjoying content. That, like, that is literally the best support that you can have. Um, in the long run, I mean. Like, $5 is $5, but there's nothing that is more important than having fun and enjoying content. Uh, but that's me, anyway. Uh, I'm gonna head out. I hope you all have a good time. Uh, and of course, glory to the wonderful Republic of Maldrovia.